are at the slice of life. Get your souvenir snapshot. Treasure the moment. Only one dollar. Hey, fellas. How about a romantic picture of you and the little lady? Think of it. The three of us immortalized forever. Anyone have a dollar? I have I'm tapped out. seven money. <laughs> I do here, mister. It's one dollar farther away from our goal of 2,500, but still. I do. I'm betting on horny. Okay, everyone. Look at the birdie. I think you're going to like this one. You work here, right? You're not just like some pervy. There you go, young fella. Something for your scrapbook. Thanks, kids. That's a pretty good picture, actually. That's nice. I'll cherish that. I haven't saved in a while. Let's go back to the original Willy. Mmm. Whoa! Free pizza. I remember this stuff being so spicy. Is there anything more delicious? Did your voice get deeper, Perry? This pizza goes well with slam dunk cola, though. Maybe we should have stuck with the basic pepperoni instead of the anchovy olives. It's just a massive advertisement for. No wonder this joint gives out free coupons. <laughs> you get what you pay for. For the cola. Man, am I paying for this? I feel like I'm gonna explode. Uh. Braffy. It wasn't me. It wasn't me either. He who smelt it dealt it. Peace, you. Oh, that old argument. Oh, gross. Then there's the ever popular. I think it was that guy over there. He who denies it supplied it. Oh no, Spider! Creep, Spider-Man! Uh oh, I feel another wave coming on. I already gave you my game, buddy, buddy. Don't you know breaking wind is bad table manners? Skulls falls like you deserve to be punished. He's not wrong. I gotta get to the bathroom quick. Not so fast, fart face. <laughs> I don't think you want to be alone with Spider. Stand back, Spider. I'm gonna blow. Uh, ah, always when they give you a choice, you can't save. I'm warning you. Let me go. I'm warning you. Get out of my face. <laughs> Walls are still a little tacky, so don't touch anything, Sonny. And don't use the last stall over there. Had to pour the turpentine down the toilet. Toilet. Shouldn't you put up a wet paint sign? Ran out of them on my last job. No smoking is all I got left. Same difference. Got there. No smoking sign. Yeah, put it in your pack. Why not? Never know when a no smoking sign might come in handy. Is there anything else in here? Now yeah, we can get that save in. Man, now I want some pizza. Even if it is crappy slice of life pizza. Oh no, spider! Did I wait too long? Nice going, butthead. You stunk up the whole joint. Was it that now bad? I'm gonna rearrange your face. One Sorry, fart? Man. It just sort of happened. It was an accident. I'm gonna close the restaurant because of it. Waiting to happen if you don't give me something oh, out of your love backpack. Chat. All right, let's, let's see what, see what we got. What do you want this time? Definitely not giving him that card. Here, take my comic. Biffo, man! My favorite! I recommend the last stall. It has the best lighting. <laughs> it's two times we've gotten out of... Forget the pizza! We've got to get out of here or I'm finished! Taking that to go. Who is Spider-Man having dinner with, by the way, or lunch? Like, yeah. Uh... <laughs> Some kind of redhead. No! Spider died that day. You know what? 
like he like he wouldn't have smoked if we didn't take the sign spider's gonna give up smoking in the near future because he's dead that was some pizza sure was i really enjoyed it are you gonna come down and watch the frog jump, Perry? Oh yeah. I wouldn't miss it, but you need to make sure you head down to West Frompton tomorrow and fill out an entry blank for the contest at Toot Sweet Pavilion. Tomorrow? I hope the ferry will be running again by then. Why isn't it running now? My dad said that Gus ran the USS Dumpling the ground on a sandbar again. Again. I think Gus is kind of weird. Once he told me that he was wounded in the war and they had to put a metal plate in his head. <laughs> I bet he has a heck of a time with the metal detectors at the airport. Oh, he's not so bad. I even trade baseball cards with him sometimes. Just Must the same. Be a lot of helium in the treehouse. I'm piloting oil tankers in Alaska for a multinational petroleum company. You're probably right. Hey! How about we all go to the park and let the frogs practice jumping? Yes. Okay, Willie. That sounds like a great idea. You in? All right. I've learned <laughs> words aren't necessary beyond that point. Suggest something. We just have to figure out a way to beat Turbo Frog's record 25. There's that water sound effect that you always hear in the Leisure Suit Larry games. This guy looks like a creeper right here. <laughs> that face. Hey, 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 okay. What'll it be? I've got slam dunk for a buck. Don't say it like that, dude. I will take a slam dunk because their constant uh, bombardments of the advertisements have me craving one, and I got money. Six dollars, actually. Here you go. I'll take a bottle of that stuff. One slam dunk, my good man. A buck. Bring back the bottle when you're done. I recycle them. Give me five cents for it. All right. Let's pop into this thing right now. Ash, pop into this pop. No. All right. Maybe later. Right now, Horny, I think you're ready to compete, buddy. Let's get some practice in. Wait. Hold on. Wait. Horny? You wanna do this? Nice day for some jumping practice, eh, Willie? I thought so. I bet Gigi can jump farther than Turbo Frog. Alright, we we really will never know because I don't think he won't. There we go. Sorry. I know where to click. 15. Not bad, but it won't be Turbo Frog. Gee, Horny never jumped that far before. Gigi's never been around before either. Hmm. I think we uh, we know the secret to motivating Horny. Not bad, but it won't be Turbo Frog. I bring out the true Horny. We can't stay here too long. The sun's bad for Gigi's complexion. Toby! Just want to hear her say Toby. I still haven't fed you. You sure you're not hungry? You are hungry. Here you go, yum, buddy. Yum. Love that horny as a voice. Wait, what? That didn't have the effect I thought it would. <laughs> Wake up, horny! <laughs> Nothing like taking a nap after a big meal? I guess so. I guess frogs shouldn't jump on a full stomach. Look, Gigi's asking for you around the uh, 25... I don't, know, I don't know what that is. Foot mark? Alright. Go for it, buddy. All right, that didn't have Not any bad, bearing. but it won't be Turbo Frog. All right. What else could we give to our pet frog to motivate him? Do you drink Slam Dunk Cola, Horny? It's a 
They're like a bit like a one, two, three combination. We need the fly as a slam dunk and GG at the finish line to get his best jump. Whoa! Wow, that was amazing. Even the diddler liked it. What's in this stuff? I hope it's nothing toxic. <laughs> We've been drinking it for years. And then back to his old 15. Not bad, but it won't beat Turbo Frog. Perry, get a new line. I think honey. Let's get on with it, Willie. Alright. Are we good? Not bad, but it won't beat Turbo. Some more cola. <laughs> wow, that what's in this? During hot summer days, Willie and Perry can often be found on the fountain's top level, spitting water out of their mouths. How does one get Willie's hair? Fair question. All right, we good? We done here? Anything else? Because <laughs> it was lame. <laughs> Not bad, but it won't beat Turbo Frog. All right. See you guys later. See you, Willie. That was fun. So now we know the secret combination for... Okay, Tiff. The now push in the clutch and start the motor. What's a clutch? The pedal on the floor to your left. Oh my. What's this thingy, Bob? That's the gear shift. And what's this, okay, Cliff? Tiff. Now ease her into reverse. Cliff and Tiff. Wait, Cliff. Stop. Cliffany, oh my god. Nice driving, sis. Where are we, by the way? I just gotta figure out a way to get horny to beat Turbo Frog's record 25 footer. I mean, we just did. We're all good, buddy. I think we're, I think we're straight. We just give him the, give him the cola and he's good to go. Boy, another gulp and horny will finish it off. Well, I mean, I, I, we got cash. If cash is the problem, I'll just buy another one of these things. Here, no, another jolt cola, my man. No? All right. Horny. Pathetic five. All right. <laughs> Let's just go, buddy. Like the car has just crashed there now. This is Dana Mitchell's house. Ooh, it's like the narrator knows there's something going on between the two of them. This house belongs to the McKee family. Currently, it is unoccupied. The McKees have taken up residence in a hotel near downtown Frumpton because of the extremely high level of radon recently discovered in their home. Oh. This is just the same spot. I just gotta figure out. A I mean, we we gotta get. We're all good, buddy. During hot Willie, Willie and Perry like to show off for Dana by swinging from the jungle <laughs> gym with reckless. Both abandon, like her. Although they always feel outdone by Dana's backflips. <laughs> Dana's backflips. Willie likes to lie down in the middle of the merry-go-round, close his eyes, and pretend he's an astronaut. I can see him through space. I see a little Freddy Farkas vibe, a little bit. Willie like during hot summer during hot summer. Uh, what else are 
was going to go around the area. Where is that? Can it, are we like going into the city now? All right. This is like Sonny Bonds chasing down the Death Angel music right here. Sonny Bonds is on the case. Bottle cap or a coin? It's mine, that's what it is. Uh-oh, Johnny Law saw it. I'm sure he won't care. Please, punk. I thought I'd overlook it the first time, but repeat offenders go to jail in this town. The trouble meter just goes up this much. Uh... What kind of town is this where they put a nine-year-old kid in with hardened felons? That was unexpected. Good thing we've been saving like mad here. Alright, we'll just take one coin this time. Hey, there's a slice of life. <laughs> Locked eyes with him, too. up like these shirts i have them on special this week only five dollars they're all cotton if you have a picture it would only take a second to transfer it to a shirt oh i have the picture of me and my friends gift. and the colors are so lifelike it won't bleed run shrink or fade and you can wash it a thousand times what's her name would love this yeah sure can you turn this picture into a t-shirt oh that'll be sweet <laughs> Slam dunk cola. No smoking. Uh, anything else that would be funny? Wait. Oh, I can advance time. That's dangerous. This one. There you go. Came out perfect. Want three more? I'll give you another 10% off. Six more, 15% off. Buy a dozen and I'll take 20%. Want to grow? I'll save you even more. I'm nine years old. How much money do you think I have? I haven't won that frog jumping competition yet. Maybe I should have played the lottery thing. Maybe there's some money in the coin slot. Despite it being out of order. Check it out. Frumpton Bucks. 67, 13, 26, 31, 49. Scoop it up. Okay. Yeah, spider might be back there. Or is that just how we Life is not currently open. Huh. Giuseppe must be on one of his frequent fishing trips. What voice is that? Eighteenth century German castle in our town. I'm gonna show her this sweet shirt I made. She's gonna love this. Hey, how about we all go to the park and let the frogs practice jumping? Okay, Willie. That sounds like Let's not. How about I show you the sweet shirt I made? Friends forever, you guys. It's the three of us. 
three best friends. You can wash it a thousand times. Oh, Willie, it's beautiful. I'll wear it for the rest of my life. Friendship is more important than winning a dumb old frog jump contest. Well, I better get moving. Willie, wait. I'm going to the yes. frog jump with you on Monday. Best friends gotta stick together. Best friends. Kiki will show him what she can do. All right. That's gonna be the key for getting Horny to perform to his full potential. What's that expression? It looks like the Joker over there. All right. Oh, that's ours. Can I, like, go backwards in time? It's a dumb question, right? Now let's save and see what happens if we just keep pushing the clock. I'd better get home to dinner. All right, never mind. Yeah, Mom will kill me if we're late for dinner. We've been doing pretty well. Staying on Mom's good side. You just have to figure out a what? See you guys. See you. No. Dinner. Wonder what we're having for dinner tonight. Maybe something with some more uh, toot sweet. No mail today, I see. I'm glad you're home, Willie. Problem? This oh. is Alicia, your new babysitter. Be good, kids, and do what Alicia tells you. And Willie, after you've had dinner, vacuum the living room. Duffy is shedding something awful. How much will you give me? But Mom, we don't need a sitter. I'm old enough to take care of Brianna. And you'd better do everything she tells you. Come on, hun. We're going to be late for the barbecue. Oh, okay. Man, is she ugly. We're going to have some fun tonight. Rude. Yeah, sure we are. Don't be such a stick in the mud. Don't be such a weirdo. <laughs> It's kind of our job as a nine-year-old to terrorize the babysitter, actually. Um, all right. So when we, I said I had to get home for dinner, I just meant have to get home and... Are you going to feed me? Is dinner almost ready? You bet it is. What I'll be having? Macaroni and cheese, Alicia style. I like mac and cheese. It's not so good. Okay, we're ready. Into the dining room, kids. Dinner is served. Still learning the layout of my own home, forgive me. What's for dinner? I hope it isn't the same thing I had for lunch. Deaf Willie? She said mac and cheese. Mm. Mm, good. It's just macaroni and cheese. Big deal! Can't babysitters make anything else for dinner? They don't pay him enough for that. You're not using your imagination. Let me help A you. A little hot sauce in there? A little chili sauce? Look, my fork! It's moving across the plate by itself! <laughs> Whoa! That that escalated. It's one heck of an imagination. <laughs> You're all mine now. Maybe Mom should have checked your references. <laughs> this must be the babysitter from hell. Oh, uh, that old chestnut. Hide, Brianna. I think we've left the uh, realm of. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we our babysitter just turned into a bat. Upstairs. Uh, uh, Maybe I can use this hairspray on the little beast. All new. <laughs> Bat killing formula. Let's try it.
It's a magic bat, too. You can teleport and everything. Uh... Yeah, get that mouse. There we go. Bats love mice. Alright. This is how I always dealt with my babysitters to turn into bats when I was a kid. Hold up. Into the living room. Alright, let's see here. <laughs> Drove the sitter batty. Alright. Great! Now what am I gonna do? All right. Trust me. Trust me there, Will. Lure in the bat with the mouse. Get the mouse. Hey. It like, it did the animation like the bat got sucked in, but I'm not sure that, okay. What, where am I? What happened? Mom, Dad, the most awful thing just happened. There was a bat and... Shh, it was nothing, Willie. You just had a little nightmare, that's all. Okay, because my Mom suspension of disbelief... Right is the nurse Good here? Good night, dear. Sleep tight. Don't let the bats... Uh, 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 bed bugs bite. Mom? Later. Later. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, and click subscribe if you haven't already, as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you.